Hello friends see you again with me Supercar. In this video I will review the interior of the 2023 Honda Pilot Trail Sport. Watch the video until it's finished so that you find out what has been upgraded to the interior of the 2023 Honda Pilot Trail Sport car. Continue to support the Supercar channel by liking, commenting, subscribing, and tapping the bell so you get other latest car videos. Inside, the larger pilot benefits from more second and third row legroom, up 2.4 and 0.6 inches respectively, and more cargo capacity, with 22.4 cubic feet behind the third row, and up to 113.7 cubes with both rows folded flat. The Pilot is available in 8 and 7 passenger configurations, but the Turing and Elite trim levels feature a removable second row center section that gives you both. It flips up to form a triple cross bench seat, flips down to serve as a wide second row center armrest or pops out leaving a pass through to the third row. The removable section weighs about 35 pounds and snaps easily into place, although it's a little tricky to lift. There's even storage under the cargo floor, so you never have to leave the house without it. Trailsport features embossed logos on the headrests, all with the Trailsport branded floor mats, and contrast orange stitching on the dash and first two rows of seats. Trailwatch Trailsport Camera Mode engages the pilot's surround view camera and keeps the front camera active at low speeds for a better view of narrow passages and steep peaks. Go over 15 miles per hour and the camera is disabled, but the system will reactivate automatically if you slow down to 12 mph in trail mode, which is nice. Camera washers for the front and rear cameras are also standard for the Trailsport trim. The 2023 Honda Pilot Trailsport will begin production at the automaker's Lincoln, Alabama plant in December and reach dealers shortly thereafter. Pricing and economy haven't been announced yet, but we look forward to learning more in the coming weeks. Trail Sports Trail Mode also features unique all-wheel drive logic that helps it maintain traction when lifting the wheels off the ground. The combination of mechanical rear axle torque vectoring and front axle brake bias allows the IVTM4 system to send up to 75% of available axle torque to the grounded wheel, while the raised tires get the remaining 25%. Honda reckons that keeping the wheel revs up also makes it ready to smoothly accept power when it finally hits back down for a smoother ride experience. Trail Sport marks the debut of hill descent control on the Pilot. It's adjustable between 2 and 12 miles per hour speeds and helped us tiptoe over bumpy road sections with ease. Another useful feature is the Trail Watch camera system that gives the driver a view of any underbody friction challenges ahead or anywhere else in the vicinity. In trail mode, the video feed automatically appears on the center touchscreen at under 15 miles per hour, and we appreciated the ability to switch between front, side, and 360 degree views using the button on the end of the windshield wiper shaft. Multiple camera views are like having a virtual rangefinder, although it's still helpful to get out and see sometimes. As Honda says its reveal is planned for this fall. It will then go on sale later this year or early next year, and we expect prices to start at around $40,000.